What is going on guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel and today we are going to be on the Cadillac changing out a headlight. It went out on me yesterday and now we're going to show you guys how to install one. So let us get into it. <music> So guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys have not checked out my stuff, please go like and subscribe. But today, we're going to be on a Cadillac. Um, we need to re replace the uh, driver's side um, driving you know, bulb. So it's a little tricky to get it off of this because it is a little difficult getting the, the bumper off. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's really quite simple if you know what you're doing and where to go pick, take everything off. So let us show you what we got. Okay guys, so we're going to the car, so this is the reason why, as you see, I have my automatic, I have, I turned the automatic lights off and have them actually running. So this is the driver's light up top, the bottom one is the high beams. As you see, the passenger side is on, the driver's side is not, it's out. So we are going to be replacing that, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's, a, it's not that bad, it's just this bumper houses the lights. So all the, the bolts, there's a, I think there's a, a bolt here, a bolt here. There's usually a bolt up top, but it's broke. And then there's um, some stuff you have to get off on the side up, up in the wheel well fender. You have to get that cover off. So that's why we got it jacked up and the wheel is off because of that reason. So as you see, I took my wheel off just to get access to this part here. We got to take these tabs off so we can get access to the back of the, um, the, um, the bumper because we got to take this bumper off in order to get to it but we don't have to take it completely off and i'll show you guys how to do right, this so we got the hood up got everything off we're going to start by getting these three panels off so these just these little tabs if you have them some of them mine don't but if you have some take them off and just take kind of lift because they will they will shoot out so take it put it to the side Somewhere here. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side. Just want to get it lifted. And then just pull it up. Make sure you hold on to them because they will shoot out. But if they don't, you may have to pull the pull the pin. These are, these are stubborn pieces. They don't like being pulled in and out. They're more of a one-time user or a couple of times user. Um, but they, they, if you keep them really good, they'll last, but eventually over time, they're really cheap plastic pieces, so you have to replace them over time. So, set that there, just like that. Then we have this middle one here. We gotta get this one and that out. I said just pop them. See, they kind of fall out. They'll jump with it. So, you gotta be careful. And then, uh, got this other one right here. Just pop it. Try to hold the hold the bottom piece and lift, and then boom, they kind of stay in place with it. And then you just pick it up, take it on out, set it to the side, so you don't lose your your poppers. All right. So I got some here. These are just something just sitting in place, so they just kind of come out. Um, whoever had it before had just left these like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to get some fresh ones because these poppers hold the bumper on. So they're, they're one of the key roles of holding this bumper on. So if you don't have many poppers, you have to refrain to like using zip ties or some other forms of holding this thing down. Because it's, it's, it's really mainly held by these poppers. All right. So the poppers are out. <clears throat> I'll set those two right here. All right. And then... We have to get to the driver's side. So this is what I'm talking about here. So you just take another popper, pop them out. There's one right up here. There's three in total. There's another one right here. They're a little stubborn. And then we can get access to fender you want to you want to do is you want to get it separated out to, off to the side so get it down like that that's all you need because 
right up under there. See that blue wire, that dark, that dark blue wire? That's the headlights um, harness. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this fender off. And see that bolt there and that and this bolt here, this one and this one, we're going to loosen this up so we can drop the fender. But right now, we're going to pick up our almost lost pieces before we lose them all. All right, uh, let's find a place to sit these. We'll sit them right here. All right, so now we are going to get our fender thing off. It's a 10 millimeter. Uh, got my little baby 10 millimeter. We're gonna loosen this first nut. This is a nut that we want to loosen because the other nut is just a sliding hold on nut. So we don't have to, you don't have to, uh, if it's tight, you can untighten it. But this is the bolt that you want is this one right here because like I said, this one right here is a slide on and I'll show you in a sec what I mean by a slide on. So get this loosened until it separates from the fender. Like so, then we just slide it forward. And then boom, that's one side. And what I mean by it's a, it's a slide on, is you see, see how it popped up? See it kind of goes down and goes up? That slides on this little piece here, it slides on there, and then it holds in place, but this is the nut that holds it. So now that we got that loosened, we should be able, to pull this off. So just lift. Let's see, let me put this down real quick. So what you want to do is you want to grab the fender, slowly kind of pull it off. Oh, my uh, jack is holding it up. All right. All right, get my wires out of the way my LEDs and then now we have access so normally there's a bolt here and that's broke there's a bolt right there and then there's a bolt I don't know if you could see it there's a bolt right there there's, there's normally three but there's only really honestly two so we're gonna try and get those off with our 10 millimeter open and wrench so I'm gonna try and jack this up just a little bit. And pull this out, there we go. So now we got it more pulled out. Now we got way more room. So just take our 10 millimeter, open a little ratchet, and you just get it on the hole and just start cranking on it. Okay guys, so we got the bolts off. We got the bolt off here, and we got the bolt off down there. So all we gotta do now is, is just pull it out. See, just like that. Lift and turn. We have to finesse it a little bit. go just like that then we're gonna grab our flathead screwdriver wherever we put it at oh here it is grab our flathead screwdriver and then you hit it in there if it doesn't come out let's see if it'll come out on its own sometimes they won't come out on their own so you have to give it a little bit of wiggle. There we go, like that. Then you pull, and boom, now it's out. And then now, we'll come over to here, and we will get it cracked open. Okay guys, so now we are about to take this thing apart. 
So the reason why I'm changing this is because obviously you know it went out. So this was the original one that went in there. Um, it was actually some Chinese uh, knockoff. Uh, this was actually a nine, a ninety oh five LED. Um, I've seen these on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. Um, they're not that expensive on Amazon, but you get them at a auto, um, like a um, AutoZone or a um, Advanced Auto, you're gonna pay like a hundred bucks for one of these, you know, one of the name brand ones. So we're gonna be replacing that. And one of the reasons we're replacing it is because it's blown. So, um, so we're actually gonna take this cover off. It is actually a seven millimeter that we're taking off. These things are really fragile. So you don't want to go too far in, too far out, you know, otherwise you want to just snug. It's just to hold it to keep the water and moisture from getting in. It's not like it needs to be super tight, but if you keep uh, going the wrong way with it, it'll just, it'll just spin it. And then now you ain't got no cover and you'll have to figure out another way of keeping this thing sealed. So you don't want to, you don't want to definitely um, go too far in these. Um, it's really cool that this whole entire thing is all one unit, but it's also bad because when one thing goes wrong, they all could probably go wrong, but you have to take it all apart just to get to the headlight. So, okay. So, um, so basically what happened was, is it was so confusing. I couldn't remember which one was which. So this is the high beam. This is the regular driving light. So I pulled out this one. So I thought this was bad, but this is actually for the high beams. But we're going to what we're going to do is since I bought a a low a high beam a low beam high beam one yesterday, and I put it in, and then I felt it was the wrong one, so I got the right one. So, um, so this is the right one. This is so let me rephrase that. So here's the low beam. I mean, here's the high beam. This is the low beam. So. This high beam was a 9005 high beam right here. I replaced it, put it in there, LED. I believe this one works because when you turn the lights on and you saw in the in the beginning that this is the light, this is the driving light. Well, it was the wrong one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this back out and put back in this LED one because I think this is one working. If it doesn't work, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it back in. It's not a big deal. But this is the one that we need to change out. This is the actual driving um, driving lights that you normally would drive with. This has high beam. This is low beam. Everything. So this is the one that's bad that we're going to replace. This is a H. I think it's a, a H11. I think it's H11. Yeah, it's H11 LED light. That is bad that we are going to be replacing. So really quite simple. Just... Um, turn it pull it out then you have this connector here on both sides this double connector just pull kind of get them kind of work them way loose and you just pull it apart so that's it right here this is this is the h11 it's really quite simple because it even says on there i don't know if you can see that it says uh uh h8 h9 h11 watt it's an h11 watt that's what this is so this is our replacement. This is an H. This is a um, a H11 bulb. It's not an LED because um, the LEDs at the store are like a hundred bucks, and I can get them on eBay for thirty some bucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this back in like so. Let me get the mounting parts right. Oh, sorry, upside down. So upside down, goes right in, snaps. It's got it's got a keyway. There's a little uh, bear, uh, a little divider. You have to flip it upside down to get it locked in. So what we're gonna do is just just for making sure, because if this if this works, I'm gonna leave it in. So what we do is we pop this off. This one you just lift the tabs and just separate. Sometimes they're a little they're a little finicky. You don't want to rip them because if you rip them, they'll pop and break, and then you can't replace them. So remember, this is all one head unit. So remember, you pop that. That's it. All right. So we put this out of the way. We'll just twist this out. 
we're going to put back in the original one. So this goes right back into this hole. Find this, find this keyway, which was right here. Turn, lock in place. Then we're going to take our plug, just plug it back in. Then we're going to take the box and stuff the box. So these are those ones that have those little booster boxes that gives you more light. But we're not going to put the cover back on right now because if there's something wrong with this one, I can easily put it back. Because the problem was yesterday was I just had some issues with trying to figure out which one was which and then which one was working. So if this one isn't working as well, then I'll just put back in the original one and we'll be fine. So... All right, let's get this back over its thing. These things are old and brittle. I will be replacing this light soon. This is just temporary until I can get one. There's one that I want to get on eBay, but it's like a, the one that I want is like a thousand dollars. But it's just because it's a Euro design one, which is really cool looking. But um. Uh, I don't really need it. I can just get a regular one, but the regular one even in a set by itself is like $400 for two. They're really expensive. And I, I had some and then I sold them and then I wrecked my car maybe a few months later and then I don't have any more headlights and these are, these are horrible. These are worse than the ones I had. So now we're going to take it, bolt it up to the car and see if this works. I'm going to put this back on and see if this works. See if this works. See if this bulb's gonna come on. All right, that looks good. So that's what it was. Let's see if the high beams work. Okay, so we got a bad high beam and low beam. So we will take that back off, replace it with the original one that was in there, and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, so we are going to go ahead and get this thing put back in. And we're going to see if this works. We got everything bolted back up with both new headlight bulbs. <clears throat> we're going to plug this back up. And we're going to stick it back in. Like we are going to be installing it. See if it comes back on. Oh yeah, there we go. Both new lights fixed. Now they're not the LED, they're not the LED ones that I normally would have on the other side because the other sides are a little bit more cooler blue, but what we're going to do is we won't replace those until we get new headlights because these are really crappy. There's no point in, in, in these. These little corner bulbs are out. They're not even plugged in because there's no bulb. So um, we're going to get some better lights and then we'll order some new of the LEDs to put them in there so it'll be nice and crisp and cooler. So now we're going to announce to put this all back together. So 
There are two bolts. There's a bolt here. This tab is broke, but it still will hold the light in place, and I don't want to lose the screw when I have to replace it with a new one. So, put that there. And then we have the other bolt in here that goes. We just lift it, and then we'll get that in. And then we'll tighten them down. So, we're going to tighten these bolts down. Kind of get them tight first. And then we'll just tighten it down. And there's the other bolt right there that we need to tighten. Let's see if I can hand tighten it first. All right. Just simply just get it back on there. And then just uh, go to town tightening it. Now, we just put everything back together. Let's get this back up. Boom. And then now we gotta get the fender and the bumper back on there together. So, grab our wrench. over here it's really quite simple you just need to get this tab up first and in the hole before you slide it then you just kind of give it a nice good bump back make sure the nut is in which is not yep see it snap now it's in then you can get this new the other bolt started and then, right here, this bolt right there. Just start cranking. You can see it's coming up. All right, there we go. It's in there. And then get our little wheel this thing back up in its spot. Put them back in its little crevices. And then we'll put our little pieces back in. Hold on a sec. there let's get them in the hole here and push there we go and this one this one's a little stubborn but get it in the hole Then we finish it off with this top one. So, so we take their take our middle one, put them right back where they need to go. All 
All right, so we got them in there. Sorry, I had to put them down because I had to get them nice and fitted in there. Then we'll take our wires for our LED kit. If you guys have not seen these LEDs light up, go check my video. It's really cool. Highly recommend it. I've actually even had a guy at New York that followed me on Instagram that put him on his vehicle. Um, it's really cool. He's got a really wicked um, wrap up top. He really like wraps the hood, the the um, the hood, the the roof, the hood, and the fender. And then he got to even the sides with this really wicked like carbon uh, crystal carbon fiber wrap looking thing. And he actually put the LED strips in there that I had. Um, I can't remember his name on YouTube, but if he, uh, if he follows me and watches my video, he knows who he knows who he is. But yeah, these are really cool. And I had it in my silver one, and now I got it in this one. So um, I did offer an extra one to to my friend um, that's in Arizona. He's got a red. He's got a red STS that he's turning into a, a race car, but. Uh, he didn't want them so because he didn't know how to wire them up but they're really quite simple if you just follow the follow the my video or um, just figure out where you want to plug them in I got my plug into a battery pack and then that's it so it's really quite simple if you just know where you want to use your power source from that's all all right we're gonna get this one last one in here and we got one more Put this right there. And sometimes you gotta squeeze these things because they're they're brittle. They only last a good few times, and then they break. Then they break. And then final ones, these little bitties, which these just go right here, lock in place. And then this one just goes right here, holds in place. Done. And there you go. Now I got my headlights all installed. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done. As you see, the lights are kind of different. These are just the regular halogens. Those are the LEDs. See the difference of how cooler and, and brighter the white is? That's what I want to get back to. So we're going to order some more to replace it when we get the new headlights. We're going to do the high beams and low beams and the fog lights too. We're going to get them all LED'd up so, um, and get them on eBay for really cheap for a whole entire kit or even just the, just the high beams and low beams and then the, the fog lights itself. But yep, that's it, that's what they look like. They're a little different, but it's okay. Well guys, just like that, we are done. The car's light is done, it's all fixed and working. Like I said, we will get some new LEDs when um, we get the new headlights. Um, we'll get, I will get some new LED fog lights and uh, high and low beam lights ordered. And then we'll keep them, have them ready when we get new headlights. But guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and being patient. Um, there's not really too much going on with the cars. Um, just really just trying to get all the stuff together and get some stuff together for the, um, the, the escape and get something together for this. So just be patient and I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys have a good and blessed day and I'll see you guys on the next fix. Until then, peace.